The Hopkinton School Committee hosted interviews and a public forum with the three finalists for the assistant superintendent position. The three candidates included Jennifer Parson, who is the current principal of Lincoln Street Elementary School in Northborough. Hopkinton and uh, have always valued and respected the work that's done here, including the obvious transition from Central School to Marathon School. Uh, that looks simply amazing. And I'm looking for kind of a different step in my career path at this time. I've been a school administrator um, or teacher in Massachusetts for about 25 years. And um, I'm looking for the next level and another way to reach an even broader group of students. Michael Cara, the current principal of the David Mindest Elementary School in Ashland. Not to mention the fact that it's a, a very, it's a very well-respected school district. That, you know, understands the importance of providing students a, a rigorous education, yet an education that is understanding of the holistic needs of all students. And um, I think that's really important to me and my value system. Um, and right now is a, a, a big opportunity for me to, to take this step. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but on Friday, in two days, I'm defending for my doctorate at Boston oh, College. Wow. So it is, it is a big <laughs> it, is, it is a big week. Um, so when you talk about timing, this is, it's just a great time in my life right now to try and take what I've learned over the course of 18 years in education along with the past three years at Boston College and now that I'm going to have the, the doctorate degree, uh, I feel comfortable making that move. I, I'm certainly nervous about leaving children behind more so than, than you do in any other position, uh, but I want to challenge myself uh, and I feel like I'm ready to do that. I'm ready for that next time. Dr. Michael Hanna, the current learning leader of Stratton Elementary School in Arlington. Um, I think uh, why Hopkinton and why now is because, I guess, in a word, um, alignment and vision. Uh, the vision that animated your strategic plan development process, um, where you actually had a prompt about uh, to people about like how has the world changed how are the schools responding to that change? I just thought it was so impressive. And then, and then that you created it so deliberately and thoughtfully. And that process and that way of working is really closely in line with how I've led in schools and in communities. Um, and then another sense of alignment is the imperative in the plan to have alignment among all of the schools around all of the different strategic initiatives. On Friday, March 16th, the school committee announced they have chosen Jennifer Parson as the next assistant superintendent of Hopkinton Public Schools. So I think some of it really has, some of our job as educators, and I don't know if we're always as good at it as, as we should be, or if I'm even explaining it clearly enough to you, um, but our job is really to take the information that we have about children and make sure we're meeting them um, and pushing them forward in their, any of their areas of deficit. Um, and then, in some cases, we do have kids that really need to be pushed forward. All the data shows us, yep, you know, they've really mastered all of this and all their pretests are showing that they've already mastered the curriculum. That's when I might see, if I were to be sitting in the role of an assistant superintendent, a teacher might come to me and say, I'm, I'm stuck. I, I really need some additional resources to help the student, whether they're at the middle or high school level, um, or at the elementary level, I need some help coming up with opportunities for the student to really stretch their knowledge and their learning. 